Ten starships are on their way to Mars. Inside these ships are 120 robots, hibernating and ready to spring into action. Their mission? To establish a Martian colony before humans arrive. The robots will first construct shelters to protect themselves and establish a self-sustaining infrastructure. They will face numerous challenges, including dust storms, solar flares, and extreme cold. With a timeline of just over two years to complete their mission, this era is known as the Robotic Age of Mars, an age when the planet is inhabited solely by robots. As the ten starships touch down, a wake-up signal plays, awakening the dormant robots inside. Ten drones fly out like bees from a hive, meticulously inspecting the starships for any signs of damage incurred during landing. Inside the rockets, robots start taking roll call and establishing network connections with each other. The Starlink satellites orbiting Mars and the rovers already deployed on the surface. This creates the first hive mind on the Red Planet. Due to the time delay in communications between Earth and Mars, the robots must operate autonomously. Depending on the planet's alignment, it can take anywhere from 3 to 21 minutes for messages to reach each other. Mission control on Earth adapts to Mars time, as a day on Mars is slightly longer than a day on Earth. The robots prepare to unload cargo, marking the start of their construction tasks. They wait until 5.30 a.m. Martian time, when the sun begins to rise and the surface starts to heat up. The robots have 13 hours until 6.30 p.m., when the temperature plummets to a frigid minus 70 degrees Celsius. While the robots can survive the Martian nights, they require extra battery power to keep their systems warm and avoid low temperature malfunctions. As the robots transport cargo out of the starships toward the building site, they compact the soil beneath them, creating the first roadway on Mars. Their first structure is a large container placed at the center of the chosen site. The container unfolds and the robots begin assembling a storage garage. Drones fly overhead, acting as surveyors to map the building site and serving as mini GPS satellites to provide coordinates to ground-based builder robots. The drones also transport cables across the structure. The storage garage will serve as an enclosed shelter but is not pressurized, as radiation shielding is unnecessary for robots. Unlike humans, the robots don't require extensive shelter. The garage protects the robots, sensitive cargo and equipment from the harsh cold and dust storms. Additional robots continue to expand the structure, upgrading it into a self-sustaining workshop, nicknamed Home Base. Away from the base, robots begin deploying solar fields. Solar panels unfold and become operational. These panels are programmed to track and follow the sun throughout the day, maximizing energy generation. Unlike static panels, which require regular dust cleaning, these panels have robotic attachments that automatically clean off any dust accumulation. While smaller builder robots head back to home base for shelter during the cold nights and begin data transfers, larger robots equipped with insulation and floodlights continue working through the night, unloading solar panels. All robots can be categorized into two groups, dumb robots and AI machines. Dumb robots, such as transporters and miners, follow basic instructions along predetermined paths. In contrast, AI robots make autonomous decisions, including those with robotic arms for manipulation and tool use. After several days of successful construction, a massive solar flare erupts and takes 22 hours to reach Mars. When it arrives, the robot builders enter sleep mode for safety. Upon reboot, a third of their software is found corrupted, 
resulting in a temporary shutdown of operations. Meanwhile, two ground-based satellites are established, marking the beginning of a satellite field for communication. A small dome inflates to house interior communications equipment, transferring control from the starships to the new ground station, which oversees robotic operations on Mars. This comms dome connects with the Starlink satellites to track weather patterns, dust storms, and potential asteroid threats. Electricity from the newly deployed solar field is directed to home base, where a battery bank stores energy for use. The robots utilize swappable batteries instead of working in shifts. While one group recharges, another uses hot swappable batteries in the field. Charger robots carry multiple batteries from the bank to building sites. Additionally, smaller rovers store and carry less frequently used tools, enhancing energy efficiency by eliminating the need for individual builder robots to return to recharge. As the base evolves into a complex settlement, drones digitally map the site, establishing a transportation network for efficient movement between structures. Inside home base, the garage houses three search and rescue rovers programmed to respond to distress signals from malfunctioning robots. These rovers carry spare parts, utilize their robotic arms for repairs, clean solar panel robots, and inspect structures for damage. The robots deploy the first emergency dome, a fast-expanding, lightweight shelter that enables work during minor dust storms. They also construct a biodome for plant cultivation, essential for creating glue from sugars extracted from the plants. This glue, mixed with regolith, serves as a 3D printing material for shells that will provide radiation protection for future human inhabitants. With plants previously grown aboard starships, they are transferred to the biodome, where farming robots monitor their readiness for harvest. The robots establish a self-sustaining settlement on Mars, preparing for human infrastructure, including life support systems, oxygen, and water. Back at home base, robots unload modules for refineries. Carbon capture towers extract CO2 from the Martian atmosphere, while electrolysis facilities separate hydrogen and oxygen from ice water. A Sabato reactor combines CO2 with hydrogen to produce methane, rocket fuel, and oxygen. Ice mining droids shuttle between the ice fields and intake docks at the base, laying groundwork for future human colonization. The robots prepare the building site for human habitats by flattening the surface, clearing rocks, and grading the ground. Large harvesting robots extract soil near the base for a new 3D printing depot. A bioreactor purifies the soil of harmful perchlorates, mixing it with plant glue to create filament for the habitat printer. The connected shells rise, forming a cave system for radiation protection. As human arrival approaches, habitat modules will unfold and self-inflate inside these shells. Meanwhile, Robots expand systems for planting and harvesting mechanisms for human food production. Three humanoid robots come online, serving as Martian crash test dummies for future testing. Dressed in lightweight spacesuits that simulate Martian atmospheric pressure, they complete final system checks before humans arrive, marking the end of the robotic age on Mars. As humans begin to arrive, they will be greeted by the first intelligent colonizers of the Red Planet. The robots, having laid the essential groundwork, will serve as a bridge to their new home, paving the way for the next chapter in humanity's exploration and colonization of Mars. The future of Martian colonization is now intertwined with the legacy of the robots that built the foundation for human life on this alien world.